How do you folks? How's it diddling? In this video, I've bought another bag of sh How much rust? All of it. So, what have I bought? I've bought an old project car. It's a 98 Suzuki Wagon R in purple. Now, this used to be an old project car that I sold last year for scrap and um well it's still here so i'll give you a quick walk about and uh and i'll get into the history of the vehicle as well and uh yeah i'm glad to have this one back in me life again because uh good old purple slurple will live again so what do i exactly do i have here so it is a 1998 suzuki wagon r and uh I think these are great little cars. Um, I'm currently sat in it at the moment. Now I'm not exactly the world's tallest chap. I'm only about five foot nine, ten at a push, uh, and there's still plenty of headroom. Uh, and it's just a fantastic little car. Now this has been off the road since 2000, and I want to say 15, probably a bit before. And I've owned this is the second time I've owned this vehicle. So I bought this many years ago, probably 2017, 18. I bought it off eBay and did some bits to it. I've put uh, 30 mil loan springs on it, new front discs and pads and a few other bits and pieces. And I put it through an MOT and after an hour and a half, they kind of had to cancel the MOT because the seals were rotten and made out of fiberglass, which is no surprise because I bought it from a scrupulous craft trader um but anyway enough of that so yeah so back in 2022 last year in august i august september time i was working as a vehicle service technician so working on cars every day it uh it, it's draining and then the last thing you want to do is when you get home is work on your own stuff so this sat for a number of years, not getting anything done. I did chop out the pass uh, driver sill, outer sill, what was left of it anyway. And I've got a complete outer sill panel ready to weld in, but it needs inner sill work as well. Uh, but yeah, I lost my passion and yeah, about October last year, uh, I ended up selling it to a, a good friend of mine who was just going to scrap it. Well, it is been sat in his yard for all that time and it's a car that I've kind of regretted selling mainly because it looks really cool and it's like a little van and a uh, little one litre engine uh, and it's pokey it's got some oomph it needs some work at the moment because uh, someone's cut the battery connectors off but uh, yeah it is a fun little car um, totally original it's done 107,291 miles so not a great deal um and it's just it's just lovely if we have a look at the seats here you know you got you got this little cubby hole thing here and there's meant to be like a plastic tray that sits in there it's missing and the headrest's missing off there and off the back and various bits um but it does have remote central locking works only on one door the driver's door so that's all that matters really um like I say, a little one litre engine, the world's longest gear shift, which is just fantastic. Nice original CD player, little cubby hole there. Yeah, it's uh, it's not a bad little car and, and I've kind of regretted selling it ever since. I've regretted ever se selling it ever since and it's always been on mine. So hence the reason why I messaged me mate Dean and say, by any chance, you still got the Suzuki wagon? Because I needed it, I've realised I needed it back in my life. And it'd be perfect, the channel. It is crap. Um, and he happened to message back and goes, funny enough, I still do. I still own it. It's sat uh, outside for a year under a tree. So the paintwork is kind of suffered a bit. And it looks a bit, uh, a lot less green and more mouldy. But he was like, yeah. So I asked him how much. We've done a deal. And it's turned up today. So, uh, yeah, I'll do a quick walk around of the vehicle and show you uh, 
all the good things, the bad things. Well, there's not many good, to be fair. But yeah, we'll have a walk around and uh, show you what is formerly known and still known as Purple Slurple. So here we go. So there's the interior. It comes with three cobwebs, just to show how long it's been sat. Lovely interior. Now, obviously it's been used as a bit of a, just kind of storing parts and bits of junk. We go to the back here. You've got uh, more bits of junk and a bit of a tree trying to grow in. Little boots, so headrests are missing. And, uh, oh look, airbag. But yeah, this is what I've got to work with. So this sill is completely gone. And the inner sill as well. And like I say, it's on little 13 inch, or are they 12 inch? Yep, little 13 inch wheels. I have got some 15 inch wheels. And these, uh, these are all stickers that I put on the car. And uh, yeah, it uh, <laughs> broke, that's about right. Uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> definitely. And it's just a cool little wagon. It's obviously not, uh, not turbocharged. But uh, yeah, she's not a bad little unit there we go so look all the way around it's tucked up against this wall but uh, let me show you under the bonnet and the powerhouse check it out so this is a little one liter and surprise i think i can't remember are these nah these just uh, i don't think these are a 16 valve possibly i'm not sure i know that it is a really good running engine now it has been sat for a year so um but unfortunately uh whilst it was at uh, my friend's yard someone cut the connectors off for the battery because uh, there's the the boots and everything like that and uh yeah and nick the battery and of course the tie down as well which is just standard really so need to get some new connectors and splice them in another battery uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad under here. That's the little air filter. Radiator's all good. If you press the fins, they're not disintegrating too much. I remember I put, fairly, uh, I put a new belt on it. But it's got uh, lowering springs all round, 30mm. So she does sit, sit lower than standard. And this lovely purple paintwork. So if we go up into here... There you go, look, shiny, sporty. So yeah, it, uh, it, uh, the, the springs actually only cost me about 30 quid for this car. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Right folks, so that is it for, oh, even got bits in there. So that's it for this, uh, this video, quick, walk around in a chat about project purple slurple that's what it is and that's what the uh, the titles will be from now on the little japanese nugget so if you like this kind of video uh give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down it's up to you like share subscribe all that jazz uh pop a comment down see what uh, what you think of this absolute nugget did i buy right in buying an old project is there a project car that you've had in the past that you've sold and not completed and kind of regretted and would you buy it back or, you know, or is it just best left? So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And always remember, have a good one and daddy bar. Mm -hmm.